All righty, time for another edition of Science Sunday here in our capital city, joined by Jace. Good morning, how are things? Good, Mark, how are you? Uh, doing well. Uh, so here at the Science Center today, we're going to be making some cloud dough. Yeah, this is like a good, easy, fun, family-friendly science experiment we can do. So, so do this at home. Yeah, this is a great one to do at home, do with the kids, um, because essentially cloud dough is kind of like a different type of Play-Doh almost. And you only need two ingredients. So the first thing we're going to use is some cornstarch. Now cornstarch is just this white powdery substance. And we're going to get about a cup full of this cornstarch. Okay. So I'll pour some of this. I'll do half a cup, actually. I'll do half a cup. And cornstarch you can pick up at a grocery store. Grocery store, yeah, very easy to get. It'll probably be in like your baking section of your grocery store. And we'll eyeball it. So it's uh, going to be about two parts cornstarch to one part, which we'll get into our second ingredient here in a second, one part hair conditioner. All right, so any, any old hair conditioner will do. Yeah, we're just using our mane and tail today. Uh, that's what we had on hand. But any hair conditioner should be able to work. And for this, it is two parts to one. So we did about half a cup of cornstarch. We're going about a quarter of a cup of hair conditioner. Okay. And you know, it doesn't have to be exact. Just Measure it the best you can, so we'll add that in. And what happens when you mix it, and we'll start to give it a little mix here. Oh, Do actually, you want to give it any color? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. let's add some color too. So we'll put a little bit of red food dye in, so we'll make it fancy. So pick your favorite color, totally arbitrary. Yeah, it does not affect it at all. You don't even have to use food dye if you don't want to. But as you start to mix it, what you'll see start to happen is the cornstarch starts to basically absorb the liquid from the hair conditioner. Again, it's starting to look a little doughy, kind of almost like you're making like a muffin or pizza dough. Okay. Um, now it does take probably like five to ten minutes to fully mix, so I did thankfully bring a finished product. No color, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and when you get done, I'll take it out of our baggie here. I'll give you some if you'd like to sure. try it. Yeah. Feels like play dough. Oh, it does it's absolutely. Malleable. Yeah. Um, look at that. You make it in different shapes, kind of just you know play around with it. Yeah. Feels good, it's yeah. nice and smooth. Um, and much like Play-Doh, when you're not using it, I do recommend you keep it in an airtight container, so like a bag or a container, because the air is what's going to dry this out and make it ruin a little bit faster. But yeah, this is a good, just like five to ten minute, a uh, little family at home science activity to do with the little ones. So what is the science behind the conditioner? What's happening with the cornstarch and the conditioner? So basically the cornstarch is starting to absorb the conditioner and it's starting to, it kind of makes it into that doughy texture. So same thing like when you're baking and you take flour and eggs and you start to mix them, the flour kind of starts to take on the like liquid from the eggs and that's when it starts to get a little more solid, a little more doughy, a little more fluffy. Okay. Um, we use hair conditioner, but in theory you could use like a lotion too, just something liquidy. But I would recommend a conditioner or a lotion because those work the best to get the best results. Gotcha. Okay. So fun to do perhaps with a toddler. Yeah, exactly, which coming up we have another Toddler Tuesday on a Monday. So this is happening tomorrow. So it's happening tomorrow, um, and it'll be our usual age restrictions. So six and under will be allowed into the building. Um, and it's for our small friends to give them a chance to run around, have fun, not have to you know worry about older kids in the way. And we'll also have some themed of activities for them so okay. they can uh, have a good time and enjoy everything we have to offer. Perfect. CTSciencecenter.org is where you can go to learn more about it all. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Jace, thank you so much. Of course, uh, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.